What's up, guys? Welcome to another Monday night. Another Magic Mondays with Meg. Sorry I'm a few minutes late for anyone that's been here waiting. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for your patience. And I hope that when I start this or when it starts on YouTube, oh, I caught it. I caught it. Sometimes I don't catch it uh, <laughs> because <laughs> then I hear myself. But um, thank you guys so much for waiting. And tonight, we, oh, Chris, thank you so much, Dad Builds. That's one of the things that I was going to talk about as one of my channel updates. Uh, but we will talk about that. Um, I don't know. Can I like, oh, I can. Oh, I can highlight that. Thanks so much, Chris. Chris, you're so kind. Um, Dad Builds, thank you so much. And I hope you guys like the world of color idea because super excited about that. But before we get into that and what's going on, with the channel, would love to say hi to everyone in the chat. So let's keep going. Kit, hello, welcome, Sam. Uh, Sam, you, Donna, Richard, and um, Nick did an amazing job yesterday. Congratulations on such a successful stream. I'm so proud of you all. Zippity Doodad, Patrick. Patrick is so awesome. He's my partner channel. Christine Hickman, hello, Pam's fam. Um, let me see. Captain Akron. I love Captain Akron. You are always coming in here. Like one of the first people to always comment. So thank you so much for always doing that. Barbara, Faith, Hope, and Disney. Uh, Cody, strive to do better. Surf Bum. Hello. Teresa Martin. Nick Gates, the Disney Commons. Faith, Hope, and... Oh, I already said that. Faith, Hope, and Disney. Guys, today has been a day. Um, Penn Smith. Hello. Thean Amazing. Uh, it's Joey's World. Uh, Avery, the Cuban American. Hello. Karen Cook, I hope you're feeling better, Karen. Um, let me see. Julie C., hello. Alex, the filmmaker. Emily, thanks so much for being here. Catching up. Jersey Mike, hello. Lawrence Travels. Um, Christina, oh, oh no, it just jumped. <laughs> let me go back. <laughs> oh gosh. Let me go back. Okay, Christina, hello. Uh, Noah, uh, I already, oh, Marshmallow Man, hello, long time no see. Emily Rose, hello. Mary M. Y. Oh, th I love my Grinch ears too. I'll show you guys the back of them once we, once I finish the, the chat. Joy, Joy, thank you so much for being a member. That was so sweet of you. Um, it means the world to me. Oh, Kit, oh, thank you so much for that super chat. Thank you for sh your stream makes my Monday. Oh, doing streams with you guys every Monday makes my Monday. So thank you so much for being here. Mary Kehoe, hello. Um, but yes, thank you so, so much for that super chat. Uh, Happy's Haunt, hello. I'm catching up, guys. I'm catching up. Uh, Karen says, doing better. I have my first checkup since surgery tomorrow. Oh, good luck. Oh my gosh, guys, send good vibes and prayers to Karen. She had surgery November 5th. So hopefully all things will go well and I hope that you're healing fast. Oh, hi, PJ. PJ, I think it's past your bedtime. So Auntie Meg says that you have to go to sleep soon. Classy Disney mom, hello. If I've missed you guys, let me know. Oh, Donna Jaworski. Donna, I was just saying, I am so proud of you guys for what you did yesterday. An unbelievable stream. If you guys missed it, uh, just there's so many amazing people here in this community and I'm so, so glad that Donna did all of that. Just like unbelievable. Um, Donald, hello, welcome. But if I missed you, let me know. Oh, Tina McNeil. Tina, thank you so much for being a member. Guys, this is crazy. Um, but, oh, Ale, hello, welcome. Um, but since craziness, um, I know that I have talked about in the past, it's going to be one of my channel updates. I think that was what I made my title, Upcoming Channel Updates. <laughs> um oh gosh I hit a button oh am I Ryan <laughs> I'm Ryan um but I I was very strongly opinionated when it came to channel memberships um it was not something that I thought I would ever incorporate into my channel just because um horizons hello I have not seen you in so long so welcome back I hope you're doing well um but it's it was something that I was very iffy about. Um, it has been available. Oh, G. Wilson, hello, welcome. Um, it has been available to me for quite some time, um, but I just decided not to do anything with it because 
I never wanted anyone, and I I've had conversations with Jeff Dole with Dad back and forth about this. Um, just saying, like, I don't want anyone to feel left out. I don't want anyone to feel like they are obligated to you know, like to pay something to be a part of my channel, which is not what's going to happen. Um, Stacy says, no, Meg, when you push buttons, it's called chef syndrome. <laughs> of course. Um, but it, I never wanted it to be like an exclusive thing. I wanted the whole YouTube channel to be very inclusive of what, you know, what I was doing. And so I thought, um, you guys know how much I love painting and I do like teaching painting. Oh, Arlene, hello, welcome. Oh my gosh, Chris, I'm so glad you like them. I worked really hard on them, so <laughs> I hope they work. Um, but I love painting and I love doing painting with Steve and um, I know that you guys know Meg Ross. <laughs> I wanted to make a really funny video about it. So if you guys uh, caught that video yesterday, it was a lot of fun for me to make. I'm proud of it um, just because I tried to be very silly and um, it, it got my point across because the whole point of what I want this channel membership to be, it will not affect what I do right now. It'll just be an added bonus of learning how to paint with me. Um, so. Thanks, Barbara. I really, really liked making it. I hope you guys loved it. Um, Meg Ross is going to make appearances uh, as a painting instructor. Um, but that's what I really wanted the channel, channel memberships to be. I didn't want it to be something that people, you know, Steve, hello, Steve's world, Steve, awesome stream. Um, and we will, I wanted to talk more about the auction too. So if you want to post a link to the auction as well, and I will mention some of the other items that um, I was talking to you about earlier. Um, oh, thanks, Cody. <laughs> but yeah, I, and also maybe Steve will make a guest appearance if, if he wants to. But um, I loved, I loved doing the paint night last year with, with the Diz and that guys and, and trying to teach them how to paint. Um, Thank you so much, Steve, for posting that. That is the auction to the Diz and That Give Kids the World auction. Um, so all the years that we made last week, I think it was last week, and uh, I'm also going to be doing a custom pair of ears for anyone. So that means like it could be personalized. It could be any design that you want. Um, so that's also an option. Like you could literally, you could literally ask me to make any character, um, or have your name on it or a special occasion. Kadani Sean, hello, welcome. So that's also going to be up there along with my Disney that paintings. <laughs> we'll see. Um, Steve and I are actually going to be painting next week and we'll, maybe I'll wait to, to share that, but I wanted it the channel memberships to be all about painting and expressing creativity. Holidays happy. Oh yeah, those ears are gonna be there. They are there up on the website already. Actually, I'm kind of curious. Um, I'm gonna scroll up. I see Stacy. Let's see if anyone's bid on that already. <laughs> We're just gonna do like a quick, uh, let's see, view all the items. Someone's bid on them. Yes. <laughs> I wanna know who bid on it. <laughs> That makes me happy, though, that someone bid on them, uh, even though I made a mistake. <laughs> so holidays happy, everyone. Um, oh, my gosh, Dougie, hello, welcome. Uh, Angela Minta, hello. But Dougie, it's so late for you. You should get some sleep. <laughs> um, but thank you to whoever bid on them. I'm very excited. Um, but also the custom ears are going to be up there. And of course, all of this is um, supporting Gift Kits the World. Isaac Nail, hello. Um, so if you guys have any other questions about the channel memberships, I am going to um, also do giveaways, which I don't think YouTube like lets you put into the the like thing that you have to apply to. Um, there are no mistakes in art, just happy accidents. Exactly. And all, all of our little trees need to have, you know, little friends. What is sleep exactly? Um, but all of our trees need to have little friends. I was going to say, oh my gosh, it's already 917, but I came on late. So I haven't been talking for that long. Um, I've been talking for nine minutes and 21 seconds so far. Um, but yes, that is, that's going to be a thing once a month. I would love to do a paint night stream with whoever wants to do that. Um, so are there going to be stickers soon? Stickers in my Etsy shop? or like these emojis that I'm super excited about. So Mike88 NYC, hello, thank you so much for joining the membership. This is so weird that people are joining. Um, 
Meg, what does Bob Ross say? Meg Ross should know that. No mistakes, heavy ears in this case. <laughs> oh, Donna, Donna, you're so sweet. Donna, thank you so, so much. Um, this is so weird that <laughs> so I never ever, um, I, I don't want anyone to ever feel obligated. Like the whole only reason I want to do this is because I want to help teach people how to paint. And if you guys have ever done Geeking Out with Melly Mel, hello, Melissa, welcome. Um, if you ever have done one of those paint nights, they're like $20 a person or plus. So I just thought you could bring your own beverage and I could dress up as Meg Ross or any other character as you wish. <laughs> and then we could just chat and have fun. So I was hoping to do that once a month. Uh, I was going to do giveaways. Um, I was going to have some coupons for my Etsy shop. And of course, just send all the magic mail out. So I'm super excited. Oh my gosh, Tina, thank you guys. <laughs> you guys are so nice. I can't handle it. Um, Surfer girl, Cherie. Hello. Welcome, Cherie. Um, thank you. Thank you so, so much, Donna and Tina and uh, Tina and Mike and, and Joy. And just, it means the world to me. Um, and I just would love to paint with you guys. So that's part of the channel update. Thanks so much, Lauren. I also hit 6,000 subscribers. Like That's bananas. Um, oh, Alex, welcome. Also, hi, Alex. So there's just like a lot of crazy stuff going on. Um, so that, I will also have a giveaway for 6,000, 6K. Movie Mania Nick, hello, welcome. Um, I'm trying to see if I'm doing that in collaboration. We can pick the character. Oh, this could get really, I mean, Tina, listen, like I am, I'm like Steve, you know? I'm uh, I'm pretty much up for doing um, any character because you guys know that I love to dress up and I love to do makeup and I love to, um, part of what I love to do and why I like to do it with you guys um, is because it lets me practice as well. And I love practicing and I love learning new things. And so every time I get to do it, um, oh, thanks so much, Ale. Uh, I love my, I'll have to show you guys my Grinch, the back of my Grinch ears too, because I like to say the, the back of it. Um, also, thank you so much, everyone, for the congratulations. But I love to work on my own skill. And so doing that repeatedly, practicing is so much fun. So getting to, to paint with you guys will also help me uh, increase my own skill in, in learning how to teach people. Oh my gosh, Barbara, thank you so, so much. <laughs> these are so nice. Um, I will show these very quickly because I love the back of them. It says, my day, four o'clock, wallow in self-pity. 4.30, stare into the abyss. 5 o'clock, solve world hunger, tell no one. 5.30, jazzercise. 6.30, dinner with me, I can't cancel that again. 7 o'clock, wrestle with my self-loathing, I'm booked. <laughs> and then this one says, Merry Grinchmas. And I just love that line. Or when he goes like, um, ooh, ah, that's it, I'm not going. <laughs> Does it say holidays happy too? No, but I do have that ear, that pair of ears. Uh, no, this one, I fixed this. I made another one. This one says happy holidays. And this one says holidays happy. <laughs> so, uh, also, I would not be opposed if anyone wants to do like a DIY instead of a paint. Oh, Nicole, hello, holidays happy. <laughs> I, I'm so happy that that caught on and uh, that wasn't <laughs> that wasn't as, you know, it was embarrassing for me because as I was um, looking at, it, like someone else's ears were being judged and then I was looking at mine and I was like, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> and of course I had put them backwards. So um, if you guys would like to see me uh, make ears, but not in an hour, we could also do that in a stream. Um, so thank you to everyone who signed up. That's so, so kind of you. Uh, I, I actually can't believe it. I feel um, very taken back that people actually want to sign up. Um, so thank you so, so much to these amazing members. Oh my gosh. Um, and I cannot wait. Yes, no mistakes, just happy little accidents. And yes, um, <laughs> Chris, exactly. Um, for anyone that has a learning disability or dyslexia, I'm sure that those work as well. Um, or just for anyone, because apparently people like holidays happy as a new saying. Um, but there are lots of stuff to come for that. And I would love for you guys to vote on what we want to do um, in terms of those streams. But everything else will be the same. So I don't want anyone to feel left out. It's just like an extra painting stream that I'm going to be doing once a month. Tommy Corner Sports, hello, welcome. And I'm so excited that you guys like the emojis because I work pretty, I've worked pretty hard on those. Um, but 
I digress. We're going to move on to the next thing, um, which is Vlogmas. So uh, <laughs> I'm super excited for Vlogmas. Oh my gosh, is that Karen? Karen, oh my gosh, Karen, you're so nice. Guys, you're so nice. It's hard for me to see. I, my contacts are really bothering me today. Um, and I'm like looking at it and because your name is blue, it, bl it blends in with the green. Karen, thank you so, so much. Um, Oh my gosh, Barbara, I love the way that they look. <laughs> I didn't know how they were going to look. So that was like a little experiment. And I think um, Jack Skellington looks the best. Um, but I think, I don't know how it works. I'm like super new to this stuff. But I think maybe Donna knows. Like I think the more people you get, the more emojis you can put. So I'm going to have fun with emojis later on. But Vlogmas is starting tomorrow. Vlogmas is starting now. Oh yeah. Um, so I'm super duper excited and I've been re-watching my videos of editing them and I've said super duper a lot in them. So just be prepared for that. But tomorrow marks the first day of Vlogmas. This is my third full year of doing it. I have um, several videos planned already. Uh, like uh, uh, filmed. That's the word I'm looking for. Filmed and edited. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Lauren. Um, oh, that's pretty cool. So I'm, <laughs> I like the emojis. They're, they're like the best part. Um, so yes, Vlogmas is starting tomorrow. And the first video I have coming, Nathan, hello, welcome. The first video I have coming out tomorrow is, I don't have them with me, but they are like Dollar Tree Jingle Bell ears. And this is literally for anyone, like, no sewing. Like if you want to huck glue things, that's totally fine. But you could get away with no sewing. I'm super excited for you guys to see. Um, I also don't have any of the other ears that I've made or or DIYs, which is a mistake on my part, Bob Ross. Oh, oh, that was a good one. <laughs> Okay, but I was going to say, there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. So I have happily accidentally forgotten all of my ears. Um, but I am doing a, uh, like a Grinch DIY. I'm doing ear DIYs. Um, of course, none of them are here with me. So uh, you guys will just have to stay tuned. But every single day, December 1st to December 25th, and who even knows, like the first year I did it, I pushed it and I did the entire month of December daily vlogs. I don't know how Ryan and uh, uh, Cody do them every day, no matter what. Like that's not for me. Daily vlogging is not, it's stressful. Um, but I love doing Vlogmas because I get to share a lot of my DIY stuff. And that's not something that, I mean, I do do DIY, DIYs. Um, pretty regularly, but nothing like this. This is like full on DIY. Um, I already have like seven or eight filmed. So, oh, Chris Blue Nose, hello. Uh, Classy Disney Mom says, I love DIYs. I miss doing arts and crafts. Yes, you should do them. And the ones that I filmed are pretty easy. And there's one that's a little bit more difficult, but you just need fabric transfer sheets and that you could just like print them out and then iron them on to the fabric. But other than that, they are... A lot of the materials are found at Dollar Tree, and that's super exciting. And uh, sometimes you don't even have to know how to sew. And so I'm very excited to show you guys those. And then I have um, some pin videos coming. And of course, you guys know that my largest Disney pin collection is The Nightmare Before Christmas. So I cannot wait to show you guys uh, some of my new newer pins. Um, I was going to give you a little sneak peek, but. Um, no, I won't. I'll wait. You guys, <laughs> I was going to give you a little, <laughs> a little tease, but I will wait. Um, I will never do a DIY video though. Meg, you're the queen of them. So I'll leave those to you. Looking forward to your vlogmas. Thanks, Cody. But maybe this is another challenge. Maybe you and Steve could do a DIY. Because <laughs> oh, I think that you guys would be good at it. Like you have the McRib challenge and then you have the crafting challenge. Uh, it would be awesome. Yes, boys and girls of every age. This our town of Mega Ween. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Avery. Um, also, I'm wearing this shirt. I just want to show you guys. Um, it says Miles for Migraine, and I found this organization. I hit my desk. Um, I just like wanted to very quickly talk about it. Um, a birthday ear DIY. That's a good idea. I was thinking about doing that. Um, and I actually tried to make some, 
but it did not turn out, you guys know, like the things that you see <laughs> are things that succeeded. <laughs> on YouTube for things that don't succeed. You guys will never, ever see them. Um, but this Miles for Migraine, they are a foundation that do um, races, races. All of them are virtual for the rest of this year and going into next year. Um, it's $25 to sign up to do either a, a one mile race, I think a two mile race, um, 5K and 10K. And all of the money goes towards migraine research. And um, Tina, I, I just saw that you said, oh, yes, they helped me. Um, this is just like a plea for <laughs> like migraine research. I did my thesis on migraines. Um, so that it, it's also something I struggle with. Um, I have chronic migraine. So that's a huge part of my life and my identity and there's hardly any research about it so if you guys want to get active going into the new year or you want to get a medal the medal is really cool it's the same as this logo and it's a little brain and it's got little sunglasses and it's running and it's just super cute so um if you guys want to check out that website you want to get in some miles you want to support a good cause um i just wanted to throw that out out there as well um so <laughs> oh rock and robin hello welcome uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happens on the phone. It's, it's confusing. And, and I'm totally with you guys. I almost exclusively watch streams on my phone and, uh, the join stuff is weird. Um, so don't ever worry about it. Um, Tina said they don't run. Let's be clear. They helped me get into contact with research neurologists. That's amazing. Um, you could also do $25, a $25 donation of like, you could do an hour or whatever it is of crafting, like equivalent of how much time it would take you to run or walk there. You could also walk them. It's not just like run. Um, but just because I know that a few of you guys like to do run Disney races or you're interested in, you know, fitness or anything like that. So just another option if you, you know, want to support something nice. Like I know so many of us support Give Kids the World and, uh, this is just an organization that I found that I am super interested in. I have never heard of them before until, you know, a month and a half ago. And I love the fact that they're raising money to do migraine uh, research. Going back to the birthday ears, <laughs> because I totally failed on, I tried to make cupcake ears and I used spackle to look like frosting and it just did not work. Um, I also had made them to different sizes accidentally, not mistake, mistakenly, it was an accident. Um, happy, it, it was not happy. Uh, <laughs> Amy, hello, welcome. Um, so that didn't work out, but I would love to try to make some vinyl DIY ears for birthdays. Um, I did some, I want, okay. I did like frozen inspired snowflake glittery ears with vinyl. So they're see-through. Um, I, I should have brought them with me. And <laughs> I also did the let it snow that a few of you guys had seen. Um, so that would be really cool to be able to see through them. I'm really interested in the see-through ears. Um, they're also just fun to make because you could see through them. If you need it to be a comedy, I will make ears. Steve, it sounded like Cody wanted to do a DIY a challenge with you. So I would be happy to teach you or teach you guys how to make something or um, just moderate it. So you let me know if you guys are interested. Post your, oh, you guys can make stitch ears or we can make stitch ornaments. Stitch ornaments are pretty easy to make. So we can also do that. You only need like, you could run to the dollar store. Like I'm all about the Dollar Tree DIYs. Um, I did not challenge anyone to ear making. Hey, you said that maybe you would try a DIY. I'm just throwing it out there. Um, so I don't know, guys. Put um put a thumbs up in the chat if you'd like to see Cody and Steve do a DIY challenge, um, or to make stitch ears because I think that would be really fun. Um, so while you guys are voting on that, I thought it could be fun to continue our this or that Disney edition. So I just got to open it up and find this or that. <laughs> you said the word challenge, Cody. I, Steve says, I will challenge Cody to anything. I love it. Okay. So 
It's DIY McRib challenge. Uh, no, thank you. I don't think I would want to DIY that. That sounds horrible. <laughs> okay, so it sounds like Steve and Cody, you are obligated now to. Oh, oh, oh! The other things before we didn't um, before we start the the Disney this or that. Um, like I said, there are lots of DIYs coming for December. If you are interested, um, I have some cool gingerbread things as well. Steve is in, um, but also I have three Mondays, McRib ears. <laughs> oh gosh, that sounds horrible. Um, but I have three Mondays in the month of December. And so I am, I already have them planned out. Um, the first stream next week, I will be painting with Steve. I don't know if we should mention what we're painting, but be there next week. We are going to be painting. Um, I think we're going to be painting something very similar or the same thing. Um, I already told Steve what I'm painting, so I'm excited to see what he's going to be painting. Um, and then the next week, so two weeks from today, we're going to be doing the Disney pin stream. So I'm super excited for that to have the ladies back for that one. And then finally, the third, uh, final Monday of Vlogmas uh, for my live streams, the 21st is going to be the Grinch makeup stream. And this is going to be, I think, one of the best streams that I will have ever hosted, mostly because we are recreating our Grinch makeup from last year. Brianna, hello, welcome. Um, I hope you have a great night's sleep and good luck at school tomorrow. Um, <laughs> No, 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 McRip, <laughs> McRip, <laughs> I vote for ER ears, I love it. The Green Grinch, yes, we're going to be making the Green Grinch. Mike Wheeler, hello, no worries at all, thank you so much for being here. Steve, challenge Cody to a hug off, <laughs> I love it. Um, but we're going to be doing the Green Grinch this time, no more Blue Man Group for Steve, and of course we're going to have a few guests, I don't think Steve knows exactly who the guests are going to be, but we will find out on that day, the 21st. And then Steve also promised that he will be going to McDonald's to get his McRib dressed as the Grinch. And I cannot wait for that because this is a day that we've all been waiting for, for Steve to dress up in costume and go back to McDonald's. We will see what happens on that day. Um, I have a feeling that it's going to be longer than an hour. We will see. Uh, so I'm super excited about those streams. A lot of amazing guests. And of course, we get to share some creativity. DIY mermaid ears for Zip. Ooh, I think that's a good challenge too. I think Patrick would agree with that one. Okay, so we are going to move on to our Disney this or that. If you guys have you know, been here the last couple weeks. We've been doing it on and off. The first week we did like seven of them because I was moving really slowly. And last week we opened mail and then we did some more of these. Um, so I wanted to do a little bit more of the Disney this or that before we get into Vlogmas territory. Um, also more along the lines of Vlogmas. I don't have a specific time of what what they're going to, like what time the videos are going to come out, but almost always I would say they're going to come out in between nine o'clock and 11 o'clock AM. So if you guys want to catch any of those videos, they'll probably be out sometime during that time span. Um, there are some collaborations that I'm super excited for gift exchanges. Um, Nicole was here in the chat earlier and I have a, an exchange with Nicole. Um, so I'm super excited about that. I have my first swap coming up in less than a week. So I'm ready for that. Um, on to Disney, this or that. So the last one we ended on was Mexico or Canada. And I was actually very surprised at how many people had said Canada. But then we also talked about how people go from the International Gateway entrance, and then they go to France first. So, <laughs> you know, it all depends on what way you're coming from, what entrance. But this next one has three choices. Um, we are talking about the all-star resorts. So are you going to pick all-star movies, sports, or music? And this one's hard for me because I feel like they're all changing pretty recently because they're getting updated. But I also haven't stayed in one of them in a few years. So uh, big Disney fan, hello, welcome. Uh, but I, I stayed... In I stayed in the movies one, and I stayed 
in the sports one. And I don't know if I have the best memories of the sports one because that was where we stayed (laughs) when I finished my marathon. And I just like laid in bed for most of the day. Like we, I finished the marathon maybe around like noon or like 1230 or something. And I just like laid in bed the whole rest of the day because I like could not move. And the person checking us in um, at the, at the, the desk was like, is she okay? And my mom was like, well, she just did the dopey challenge. So she's a little tired. And he was like, let me get her some buttons so that she feels better. But I didn't see very much of the all-star sports because I just pretty much laid in bed all day. But the movies one was extra magical because they had those huge life size, like, um, structure. I know that, oh, I just hit my jack. You guys could kind of see, I, I have my little tree there. Um, let's see what everyone's saying. They have the huge, huge, um, characters there. So Angela says movies, Joy says movies, Nick says movies. The Amazing says still have not stayed in an all-stars resort. That's totally okay. Um, Karen says movies because it has the best food court of the three. That's interesting. Me too, Nicole. I'm so excited for the gift exchange. Please let me know when you open it because I want to know what you think about what I made. (laughs) Avery says easy, none of the above. (laughs) I love it. Uh, Nicole says music. I love the pools. Teresa says music. Uh, Happy Haunt says, I haven't stayed in one, but I will go with music. It's Joey's World says music. They are the only ones that offer the two room and uh, two bathroom, two bathrooms. That's really interesting. Um, Let's see. Nikki Walker. Hello, Nikki. Welcome. Uh, Nikki says movies. Raleigh Creative Travel. Hello. Welcome. Classy Disney Mom says, I never stayed there, but the music one sounds interesting. I love music. Avery says, I prefer pop and art of animation over the all-stars. Yeah, I I definitely prefer pop over the all-star resorts, but, you know, sometimes you can't can't get there to pop because it's sold out. The Roaming Princess, hello, welcome. Oh, thank you so, so much. I I did my best Grinch impression before of, of my back, of my schedule. I'll do it very quickly one more time. Seven o'clock, wrestle with my self-loathing. I'm booked. I'm booked. I just love that part of the movie. (laughs) I watched the movie the other day and that part. But the the better part is that I am in the process of making the the Grinch Cheermeister sweaters for my entire family. And they already know that, you know, we're doing a like a group photo um, for us to make. I'm making the sweaters for them. But I'm going to have my Grinch ears, my Grinch Cheermeister sweater, and I'm going to do a full face of Grinch makeup for the 21st. So I'm super excited. Oh, Donald says movies. Chris says we stayed at sports a couple of times. Um, Alex says movies. We had a great time there in the food court and shops were great. I think I would go with movies. Um, I've never been to music, but I know that it's super close to both the movies and the sports. Um, the other thing is if you're thinking, I see like I, I have a hair there. Um, the other thing is I, I know that the bus route is a little bit different. Like people, if you're getting on the Tragical Express, you are always the first person to be dropped off at the All-Star Sports. And like that's exciting to me because I get to start my Disney vacation better, like quicker. And then um, usually the buses come to pick up people first at the all-star sports. So if you're in a rush, like I would pick all-star sports, but I think movies have been renovated more. I don't know. I haven't been there in quite some time, obviously because of the pandemic. Oh, Penn Smith. Thank you so much. (laughs) Yes. I love the Grinch too. The Grinch is like one of my favorite movies as well as elf. Oh, Santa. I know him. Uh, Steve says movies is the best thing, but sports is by far the best logistically. I think that's kind of where I'm going as well. I think that's what I was trying to get at with the, with the buses. Um, I think for transportation, you're better off going to sports. And I think if you're going to spend more time at the resort, um, especially with the theming of the movies, I think you would probably want to stay at the the movies. Um, On to the next one. Oh, (laughs) where is Miguel Benitez for this one? Because I said, is Elsa a villain or a hero? Congratulations, you did it. World's best cup of coffee. Exactly. Uh, Penn Smith, have a great rest of your evening. No worries. Uh, The day always gets away from me, especially on a Monday. I feel like it goes.
pass by so fast. But is Elsa from Frozen a villain or a hero? Is she a good guy or a bad guy? Or a good good lady or a bad lady? Uh, you just never know. And this has been Miguel and Steve's argument, not argument, but discussion for a while now. And I wanted to just throw it out there, like a little sprinkle, <laughs> to see where you guys were at on that. Um, let's see, Joyce is a hero. Avery says a hero. Nicole says villain turned hero through redemption in Frozen 2. Ah, uh, let's see. Athena Amazing says Elsa is my queen. The roaming princess is good guy. Noah says hero. Nick says Meg. Pete says, are you ready for some football? No, I'm not. I don't, I don't watch football. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, Christina says hero. Nick says hero. Cody says hero. <laughs> Kay says Elsa is a villain. Kay, you are the best. <laughs> uh, let's see. Donna says Aunt Anna was the villain. She started the whole mess making Elsa use her powers. Just saying. She's like, Elsa, Elsa, make me a snowman. I love it. Karen says hero. Donald says good guy. Chris says after hearing let it go 50 times, it's clear bad guy. I like the justification. Uh, she's a little sketchy. Also, I want to say um, I don't often sing. <laughs> I'm not a very good singer, but I have I sing in the beginning of my video tomorrow. So if you want to, <laughs> I made my own song. <laughs> And I sing in the beginning of the, the video. So if you want to go and hear me sing. Meg Pete was the one that was wanting to know if you were ready for some football. I am not ready for football because I don't watch football. But I'm ready for hockey to come back. Alex says, I agree. Villain turned hero. Anna is the true hero. Though Elsa has a stronger character arc. I think that's an interesting point. Teresa says, I can't choose. Um... I was working in kids' clothing when Frozen came out. One day, I had a grandmother who said, I won't buy clothes with that awful Elsa on them. She was so naughty. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. She just, she. I think we all have that dilemma of good and bad sometimes. Oh, gosh. No, no, no. Chris, you're not allowed to record any of that. Megan, the only singer, Simon Cowell, is too afraid to roast. Well, Last week, we had Saria from Dream It DIY. She was our stand-in Simon Cowell. <laughs> so, yes, bring back the hockey. So, pretty much everyone said that she was a hero, but I like the idea of a villain turned hero, kind of. Um, I think I know the answer to this next one. I think I would disagree with everyone on it. But in terms of a Toy Story ride, are you doing Toy Story Mania? Are you doing Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin? I personally would always 100% do Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. I love to get Galactic Hero. That's one of my favorite things to do when I'm away. I love to play Toy Story Mania, but sometimes the spinning gets me. It just, woof, it gets me. Uh, villains are usually selfish, have henchmen, and harm others. It's a choice. We all have a choice. And she was, she was a villain and changed her ways. Ooh, that means Marshmallow. Is Marshmallow Man still here? Marshmallow was her little henchman. Uh, let's see. Dean Amazing says Toy Story Mania. Nicole says Buzz. The Disney comes a Slinky Dog Dash. I mean, that also works too. <laughs> uh, Karen says Toy Story Mania. This is similar to the question, who is the true bad witch, Glenda or the Witch of the West? That's a good, I mean, I love the Wizard of Oz. I love Wicked. I would love to talk about that one day. Nick Gates says Toy Story Mania. Avery says, Space Ranger spin, no doubt. Gotta get that glorious sticker. Exactly. Angela says, Toy Story Mania. Kay says, Mania, I'm so competitive. You could be competitive in both of them. Are you using an auto-tune box? Meg, cough, chef, cough, cough. If not, you're all good. No, I don't do the little auto-tune. You guys are, oof, you are not going to, it's going to be a little embarrassing, but I, I wanted to, I wanted to sprinkle a little extra magic of making my own little song for a vlog mess. Yes, Jersey Mike, we need our Rangers hockey. Exactly. And it's Joey's world. Uh, they are Rangers fans as well. Uh, let's see. Happy's Haunt says Toy Story Mania. Ale says Toy Story Mania. Joy says Toy Story. I'm assuming Mania. <laughs> let's see. Yes, yeah, spinning rides. I It depends on how I'm feeling. But for the most part, because I can control the Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin 1, I feel better about being in it. For anyone that gets like vertigo or gets motion sickness, 
I feel a lot more comfortable being in that one just because I can physically control it. And then <laughs> the Toy Story Mania one like gives you whiplash. You're just like, woof. And uh, sometimes I'm not expecting it. Uh, let's see. Knowing that I can exit and go on the Carousel of Progress, that is also a great, great attraction. Nikki says, Buzz. Noah says, Toy Story Mania. Donald says, Buzz. You mean Devil's Hockey? No, 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 no. Rangers Hockey. Rangers. Um, Cody says, Buzz. Teresa says, Buzz. Toy Story Mania makes me nauseous. Yeah, I think it's a hit or miss for me sometimes. It's too much. I can only go on that ride, like, maybe one time. Uh Oh, thanks so much, Christy. You guys are so nice about these. I'm very excited about it. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> Sir Bob, <laughs> you are so funny. Okay, the next one, I think I'm gonna pull some strings here because people are going to be really one-sided on this, whatever, it, whatever side you're on. Do you go to the People Mover or do you go to the Haunted Mansion? Which ride do you like better, People Mover or the Haunted Mansion? I cannot wait to hear what everyone says because <laughs> I know that uh, this is a very picky, <laughs> picky, uh, like, I don't know, choice. Uh, let's see. Theme Amazing, Haunted Mansion, Angela, Haunted Mansion, Christy says Haunted Mansion, Alex says Haunted Mansion, easy. I'm with you. Haunted Mansion, easy. Happy's Haunt. I love that it's kind of like in your name, Haunted Mansion. Karen says People Mover. Barbara says People Mover. Nick says Haunted Mansion, 100%. Oh, Joy says Haunted Mansion. No, Meg, Haunted Mansion. Yes, Nikki. Ale says People Mover. <laughs> Avery says, why do you do this to me? People Mover again, because Carousel of Progress is right there. Nicole, I love your reasoning. Donald says Haunted Mansion. Cody says Mansion. The Disney Commons says Haunted Mansion for show. Uh, Dad builds Chris. I love them both equally, but I usually head to Haunted Mansion first. That means it's a winner. Mary says Haunted Mansion. Teresa says the people mover. Kay says, please don't make me pick. <laughs> oh, I loved, one of my favorite choices was watching people pick between Marvel and Star Wars. <laughs> it was pretty funny to watch people pick between that. After the Tiki Room, that is. Oh, you go to the Tiki Room first? Rita would like you. Rita loves Love the Tiki Room. Noah says people mover all day. Well, I have to say, Haunted Mansion, I think, wins that one. Um, this one, I think, will be interesting for, I just want to see where people are. Do you go to, or do you prefer Tomorrowland, or do you prefer Fantasyland? Finding Disney, hello, welcome. <laughs> Kirk Chris says, this is too tough. So I'm just saying, yes, I love it. <laughs> you guys are so funny. So are you going to go to Tomorrowland first or Fantasyland? I personally would go to Fantasyland first. But as we were just talking about the people mover, Carousel of Progress, Buzz Lightyear, um, I never know. I love the princesses. I would love, love to do all the Fantasyland rides. Avery says Tomorrowland, hands down. He said it has the best music loop in the park. I don't disagree with that. Barbara says Fantasyland. Uh, Cody says Tomorrowland, Space Mountain. You know, Space Mountain's also a hit or miss for me. I can only do it sometimes. Alex says Fantasyland. The castle fascinates me. Same. I love to look at the castle. Uh, Nick Gates says Fantasyland. Let's see. <laughs> oh my gosh. Steve says Finmorrowland. <laughs> A combination of the both. Kay says Fantasyland. The Disney Commons says Fantasyland because I'm nostalgic like that. Exactly. Mary says Tomorrowland. Joyce says Fantasyland. Steve says Space Mountain for the win. No, no, no. <laughs> Nikki Walker says Fantasyland. Uh, Teresa says Tomorrowland. Ale says Fantasyland. Karen says Fantasyland. But in reality, I go to Adventureland first. That's another question that we're going to do shortly, I think. Did I already say that on one of them? I wonder if we did it already. Do you go right or left in Magic Kingdom? If we didn't do that one already, we could redo it. Happy's Haunt says Tomorrowland. Donald says Tomorrowland. Um, Finding Disney, Fantasyland, some of those rides get insane lines as the day goes on. Exactly, like Peter Pan, uh, Seven Dwarves, Tomorrowland, Carousel again. Exactly, Nicole. <laughs> I love it. Um, so do you prefer, now that we're talking about Space Mountain, ironically, this one is next. Um, do you prefer to go to the left or the right track? So the left one is a little bit longer, a smidge longer um, than the right one by like 10 feet. 
Oh, Mike, thank you so, so much for always reminding me for that. This week, um, I wanted to do a special shout out to uh, Jenna from Resort TV One. Jenna, her birthday was on Friday, and I'm just so lucky to be friends with Josh and Jenna over at Resort TV One. Jenna is such a wonderful person. She's so sweet. And I hope you guys go and send her some love. If you guys are not already subscribed to Resort TV One, I don't know why you'd be here. <laughs> because they are literally the founding people of our Disney live streaming community. But I just want to say a huge happy birthday to Jenna. Please go check out their channel. They are amazing, amazing people. And I just love Josh and Jenna so much. And Jenna and Dale and Chloe. And they just are amazing, amazing family. So happy birthday, Jenna. I hope you had an amazing day. And please go check out Resort TV One. Thanks, Mike. Uh, Triple A Sparkles, hello, welcome. No worries at all. Uh, Chris says left. Happy Han says left. Cody says left. Disney Connections, hello, welcome. Always left. <laughs> uh, Avery says left. I'm a lefty after all. Nick says left. Angela says left. Neither. We usually skip space due to ouches. I love it, Nicole. <laughs> I go, oh, it skipped. Oh no, I go left to Adventureland because it's less crowded first thing in the morning. I like that idea too, Christy. We usually, um, change it up every time we we do that um strive to do better cody says i think left is more intense yes it is a little bit more intense noah says left case is right because i like to be different <laughs> i love it <laughs> uh joy has never ridden space mountain wow i uh, think amazing i have only been on space mountain once and i have no idea which track i did i do remember repeatedly asking my friend is it over yet <laughs> donald says right nikki says left Teresa says left uh Straight to fantasy land, then left. Jesse Mouse, hello, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, yes, we all love Resort TV One. They're amazing. <laughs> I like going through space while riding on the People Mover. Yes, that is a good, good thing to do. What's even cooler is when the lights are on. Oh, that's so cool to see the lights on, but it's also really terrifying and it makes you not want to go back on Space Mountain. And for tall people, this is not a problem for me because I'm not very tall. Um, but for tall people, it, may, it makes me nervous to be on that ride. I like actually duck my head because the track is so close to your head. Crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mary, I love dogs. Patrick says, who's Resort TV one? I don't know. I, I love dogs and I love Jenna and I love Chloe. Dale's okay. Dale's pretty fine. Um, but no, they have an amazing family. The entirety of their family, Josh, Jenna, mom, dad, Dale, Chloe, and as well as their other family members, just such an incredible, dedicated family. So sweet, so friendly. Um, and I'm so grateful to be friends with them, as well as all the people that I have made friends with because of them. Um, so I think we'll do one more. This will be an interesting one. Guys, this is the problem with these... This or that, I get so sidetracked and I just want to talk about all the things that we could talk about. Oodle Ollie Lane, hello, welcome. I need to have Patrick come on and just like, we need to have Patrick say it and then we need Chris to record it and then Pete to play it and then Ryan to play it and just say Oodle Ollie Lane for Patrick to say that name. Anyway, do you prefer to be in the front or in the back of roller coasters. If you don't ride roller coasters, you could just say that, or you could say, I hate roller coasters, or you could pick the middle. Um, go late, I had to change six diapers <laughs> last hour. I also, um, I came on 10 minutes late, so maybe I'll go uh, a few minutes later if that's okay with you guys. Um, Disney Connection says back, Happy Haunt says back. If that's what you guys are, if you're okay, I could go a few minutes more. Um, Karen Cook, back always. I can do that, whatever it was that you said. <laughs> uh, Patrick says back, it goes faster. Nick Gates says back. Uh, the Roaming Princess is the middle. Avery says the back. Joyce says don't ride them. I think it's a hit or miss for me as well. Some roller coasters I just can't ride. Some of them, like the kid ones, <laughs> I can ride. <laughs> uh, let's see, Donald says back, Case is back. Uh, Nicole says front usually. I think I would go with the front as well. Sometimes the back is fun, but I do find that uh, it whips you around more in the back and I feel more comfortable and then I'm in less pain <laughs> when I'm in the front. And I also like having a clearer view. I don't care as much about going as fast. I mean, I did when I was 
younger, but not as much anymore uh, because I'm old <laughs> and I have neck issues. <laughs> uh, let's see who did I miss. Um, oh, Nicole just said the same thing, usually due to less whiplash issues and more suspense because you're seeing the things and kind of hanging at the top before you drop. That's a good point. Uh, Teresa says back, always back. Tony says both ways are fun. Um, if you don't ride Big Thunder in the back, you're doing it wrong. Oh, hey, Jackie, welcome. Guys, Jackie has been putting out amazing, amazing videos. Um, just, it makes me so jealous that I'm not there and I wanna see all the Christmas stuff. Michelle says don't ride roller coasters. Also, welcome, Michelle. It depends on the roller coaster, rather have the front. Awesome AAA sparkles. Smaller passenger should sit in the front for sure. Oh, I, I like that too. Um, off topic, but last week's Mandalorian was amazing. No, I have not. I have not seen it. I've not seen any of the new episodes because I'm waiting for my dad to catch up from season one. Exactly, Jackie. I'm like, I'm like, oof, oof my neck. I'm, I'm not that old, but I feel old when I get off roller coasters. So that's just, no, Avery, I have not seen any of the new episodes. Don't tell me baby Yoda's name or the child's name or whatever his new name is. He's always going to be baby Yoda. I am waiting. I'm being very patient. So don't tell me anything. <laughs> Patrick, I'm looking at you because I don't want to know. I don't. I will find out very shortly. I'm just waiting for my dad to catch up on season one. <laughs> I do need to catch up. I really do because I feel like I'm missing. Spoiler alert, his name is Zip. I knew, I just knew that John Favreau was like a fan of your channel. And I just wait, a new superhero character is gonna come out in another Marvel movie. And he's gonna be like, this is Zippity Doo Dad. <laughs> his superpower is like, splashing water at people. <laughs> I would love it. Okay. So we'll do, um, two more. Well, yes, we'll do two. Uh, me. Okay. We can do two more. <laughs> okay. So it seemed like most people liked the back roller coasters. So this next one is, do you go to, or do you prefer Be Our Guest or Crystal Palace? And I'm thinking more in terms of the early morning dining, but you could think about it in any way because I usually, his superpower is apparently changing diapers. <laughs> that is his superpower right now. Yep, he changed six in the last hour. He has very fast hands. So maybe um, that is Zibidi Doodad's power. Yeah, so um, be our guest or Crystal Palace. And yes, this goes to being uh, like, I don't know, character dining kind of or regular dining. Uh, front only for Space Mountain. Every coaster is different as to whether front or back is better. Yeah, I agree for that. Um, it's scary to be in the front for Space Mountain. <laughs> so I, I like being in the front for Space Mountain because there's no one in front of you. And that's, it's like actually like you're being shuttled off into space. Uh, is it terrible that I've been to Disney a million times and have never eaten at either? No worries, Jesse Mouse, because there are a lot of places at Disney I have never eaten at, nor do I plan to eat at in the near future. <laughs> but one day, maybe. We'll see. So the Roaming Princess says, Crystal Palace, Happy Haunt said, uh, Crystal Palace. Noah says, Be Our Guest. Kay says, Crystal Palace. I've gotten to actually eat at both of these. Um, and I think, depending on the meal, I would pick one or the other. Joy says, Be Our Guest. Patrick says, I'm ready to rock now. Let's keep it going. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Tony says, Crystal Palace. Barbara says, Crystal Palace. Ail says, Be Our Guest. Nick Gates says, Crystal Palace. Oh, Cody. I am on the same page as you. Crystal Palace for breakfast. Be Our Guest for dinner because I get to meet all of Pooh and friends at breakfast. You get me in at an 805, like normal Walt Disney World. Uh, you get me in at an 8.05 reservation time for a nine o'clock park opening. I get in there. I like sneak onto Main Street, take all my pictures with no one there. And then I get to meet the beast for dinner. I would love that. Uh, Disney Connections, Crystal Palace. No, no Be Our Guest. Wait, no, Crystal Palace. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Avery says Be Our Guest, but that forced perspective though, it only works from a distance. Tiny Castle, the exterior of Tokyo's beast ride is how you do the beast castle. That's interesting. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, it just jumped. I see a lot of hearts. I don't know what you guys are doing. 
Uh, Donald says Crystal Palace. Patrick has hearts in the chat for Meg to give us a bonus of nine minutes. <laughs> we'll see. Karen says, be our guest for breakfast before the park opens. And then you can get on seven doors before the crowds descend. Karen, I'm also on board for that. Um, we did. I did that with my mom one time. And we just made it into line for the seven dwarves mine train by like three or four minutes. And we just literally walked right onto the ride. Uh, Mary says, I've never eaten at Be Our Guest. Uh, Nicole says, Be Our Guest, I love the allergy-friendly uh, meal. Yes, that is also very important for me, the allergy-friendly meals and menus. Um, I love all the heart. You guys are so funny. <laughs> like I said, I did start several minutes late, so maybe we can maybe we can go a little bit further. Um, the place at Animal Kingdom, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, Tusker House, is that what you're talking about? What? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Pickle Latruski loves Disney. Hi, Pickle Latruski. And can I add that you use green hearts for the pickles? <laughs> or for Christmas. I don't I don't know which one. Uh, let's see. Do you prefer meeting characters or riding rides? So that's going to be an interesting one. I think most people are going to say riding rides. I am a both kind of person. I love riding rides, but some days I just want it to be a character day. That place is bomb for breakfast. <laughs> and the Disney Commons also agrees Tusker House is the best. That is like the best falafel I've had. I have to say we had a wonderful, wonderful, <laughs> Steve, you're so kind. <laughs> Steve sent a $5 super chat who thinks Meg is awesome by show of hands. Stop being so nice to me, guys. You guys are so nice. <laughs> Thank you so much, Steve, guys. Please, please go check out Steve's channel. He's amazing. Um, just does such incredible things, amazing live streams. And he's going to be on next week. Uh, you guys are so nice. <laughs> I have a dream. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> uh, so Mary says riding rides. The amazing says bold is good. Oh, I was talking about, um, I was talking about Tusker house. We had an amazing experience at Tusker house. We did the rivers of light dining package rip rest in peace rivers of light, but we had an amazing experience. Um, we got to meet the character several times in there. And then they also had an amazing allergy friendly menu, the best falafel I've ever had there. My mom said she had the best salmon because um, she eats everything. I have a more restricted diet. So um, everything that they showed me was amazing. I, like the buffets are hard for me because I can only eat so many things, but oof, that was so good. I think about it all the time. Alex is depending on the character. Barbara says, yes, both. Chris just says, yes. <laughs> um, oh, it just jumped. Let me go back. Let me go back. <laughs> let's see Christina said I've always wanted to eat at be our guest I have eaten there for breakfast and for dinner I preferred the experience at dinner but I liked the food better at breakfast um just because my food was only okay at dinner but I loved meeting the beast you guys are so nice Teresa says both just depends on my mood Karen says, don't make me think, probably character meets depending on the day. Exactly. I feel like I could definitely do both, but I feel like as an adult, I've gotten more, I've gotten more towards meeting characters. Triple A Sparkle says rides. Nikki says both. It depends on the day. Pickle Trusky says both. Nicole says uh, characters all day. I love rides everywhere or elsewhere, but Disney has incredible meets. I agree. Kay says both can't decide. Avery says rides. Joyce says rides. Um, Happy Tom say love characters, but rides is a must. And shows, the shows are my favorite. Yes, ah, uh, the festival of the Lion King. That's my favorite show. The amazing says Tusker House was good, but it was more amazing that Goofy decided I shouldn't be eating alone, so he sat down with me and held my hand. <laughs> oh my God, Patrick, I'm kind of on the same like pages you I don't I think the food was only okay especially compared to places like Tusker House um I just think it was unbelievable but for the experience of getting to you know meet the beast that's the only place you can meet the beast or you know getting to get into fantasy land earlier in the day and, and not having uh, have any crowds or just you know try it out um we went for Christmas um a couple of years ago for the breakfast and they had all the decorations that was beautiful um Let's see. Lion King is my favorite too. Ah, yes. I love it. Okay. So I'm going to mark those off that we did those three because we did three extras. Then, then whenever we decide to continue doing this, because I have literally like four pages of these things and we've only gotten through three quarters of the first page. <laughs> so 
we'll see. Maybe in the new year we could do this again. I have some more ideas. We have to do, um, Patrick, you're in here. We need to get Nate and Dave back to do adults part four. And if Jackie's still here or part three, and if Jackie is still here and Jackie, you want to participate in adults, adulting in Disney part three, I would love to do that come the new year. Next week, we are going to be doing um, a paint stream with Steve. So get ready for that. If you guys want to paint along with us, it, Cody, these streams always go by so fast. It's crazy how fast they go. It's like, woof. And they do say that time flies when you're having fun. And I always have fun on these. Um, so thank you so, so much to everyone for being here. Um, I cannot wait for Vlogmas starting tomorrow. Like I said, you don't want to miss me singing in the beginning of this because it'll either be embarrassing or people will like it. I don't, I, it's really either, it's, it's just the one or the other. Meg Ross. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> once again, um, Meg Ross will be making, Meg Ross will be making appearances for the, the, um, channel membership live streams. So get ready for her. Oh my gosh, Jesse Mouse, thank you so, so much. That's so sweet of you. Um, yes, that's all of something I forgot to mention. Uh, I also, my Etsy shop is having uh, a sale ending tomorrow or tonight. <laughs> and it, it ends after midnight. So if you do, you know, want a pair of ears or, you know, you want to get a holiday gift or, you know, you want a custom pair of ears or anything like that, um, I would be happy to work with you. A lot of people um, send me ideas and, and we work things out. Um, but I'm just so, so grateful to everyone who has supported my Etsy, Etsy shop and uh, to people who joined the channel memberships today. Thank you so, so much. It, that's really unbelievable. I was not expecting it. Um, love those adulting streams. Meg Ross, I'll be signing. Thanks so much, Mary. Yeah, Meg Ross will be making appearances come... <laughs> December and the new year, but please stay tuned for next week. Um, I'm really, really excited for this um, upcoming stream with Steve because it's a painting that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Um, and I'm, I'm always excited to paint with Steve. And then of course, the next week we're doing pins. And then the final week of Vlogmas for live streams, we're doing the Grinch makeup. So you guys, we'll have to make a, um, I booked just so excited um, for the Grinch stream. I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow in all the streams. Patrick is Patrick might be going live. I'm not sure yet. Um, but if he does go live, make sure to check out his channel. He's amazing. He's such an amazing friend. Um, and of course, go check out Steve's stream if you missed it. Steve will be on next week with me. Um, Happy Haunt, there. I don't know if you're on a phone, but I, I guess they're not on the phone. But don't worry about it. Um, I guess it works on the computer. Oh, Jesse Mouse, thank you so, so much. You guys are so nice. Thank you so much. There's a join button if you do want to work on painting. Um, we're going to be doing painting streams. And yeah, I'm just really excited to get to hang out with you guys and be like, um, yes, Kay, thank you so, so much for mentioning that. It was Jenna from Resort TV One. Her birthday was this past week. And uh, I'm just so grateful to have amazing friends like Jenna and all of you guys here. So um, as always, thank you so, so much for being here. I am so excited for Vlogmas. I can't believe that it's already December. It's crazy that just tomorrow is December 1st, but <laughs> I hope that you guys like the singing tomorrow. Leave me a comment in the video. We'll see. Oof, we'll see. <laughs> Thank you guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Pepper Tree Villa goes live um, at 10 o'clock every night or every Monday night, not every night. Oh gosh, could you imagine? But I'm sure they're prepping for Christmas. So go head over there, say hi to them if you have time. And I will see you next week for a painting stream and every single day for videos for December. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you all soon.